Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I've just got a mail opening of some Manchester City merchandise and I'm a little bit concerned about the box size actually. It doesn't look big enough to have a shirt in it but I guess it could be folded over. I'm a bit excited to have some content like this uh, to do because I very rarely get to film content in my 16-17 season Zabaleta shirt. I bought this at Zabaleta's last game for City, which also happened to be the first game I ever saw at the Etihad, being a City fan from Teesside. Ironically, I then watched them again about a week later play Borough here. And if you're wondering how a guy from Teesside becomes a City fan, shut up. I really haven't gotten to wear this on a lot of videos, not that I could, couldn't just wear it on any video. I think I've worn it on a video where I felt really passionate after watching Man City versus Newcastle, I want to say 2021. I think it was 4-2 in the end. It was a really crazy game. Farron Torres scored a hat-trick, I think. Scott Carson's only game in the Premier League for us. I think, you know, I think I just thought there was so many interesting talking points it was worth doing a thing about. And this was back when I was thinking about doing City videos before I kind of just forgot about that and the other video was when i was really just tired of seeing algerian fans in our comment section going on about riyad Mahrez. so i made a video called why manchester city fans don't like riyad Mahrez." i think i wore this then but i can't really remember i definitely took that video down shortly after because it was overrun in the comment section by algerians uh, ironically most of them agreed with what i said most of them were Algerian people who agreed that the Algerian Mahrez fans were ridiculous. But in the end, I still kind of just got sick of yeah getting the notifications and stuff like that. So I just took it down. So what I tend to do on my main channel is I tend to kind of just gabble on and tell stories, as you kind of might have noticed already. And uh, the people that stick around and watch the whole thing, that's my target demographic. So if you're not interested in that, then please do. Feel free to head off now. I will not be offended. So, what we've got here, we've got some Manchester City stuff. Most importantly, we got a shirt from last season, the 23-24 season. Now, we, what we've actually got is the Keeper third kit, I believe. it's. I believe it's a third kit. Because I wanted a shirt from this season because I really enjoyed watching the 23-24 season. Partly because, you know, my I, I watch football with my girlfriend now. So, that's kind of a shared passion and I've just... I just really enjoyed uh, watching this season, so I thought, you know, we have to get a shirt from this season. Normally, I'm too tight to buy them, but, you know. Anyway, again, with the tightness, we were trying to get something really quite cheap, and the Manchester City shop had these shirts reduced to £30. All the other shirts were starting to sell out elsewhere, and I thought, you know what, we'll just pull the trigger while we're here. But, I do kind of feel like I shot too soon. Because I keep getting Facebook ads now for like Puma. Where they have like last year's home kit for like 30 now I think. And the the third strip from last season for like 24. Which is a really nice shirt too. And they even have the kit from the year. The third kit from the year before that. For the same sort of price. But I really don't rate that kit. So let's see. First of all. Let's, let's start with the shirt. So first of all. I would have got this personalized if I could, but uh, actually I think the option was there. I think it just made it so expensive that it, you know, it wasn't worth bothering. Like it was like, you know, suddenly it wasn't like a good deal. So we can, I mean, you can see a whole bunch of a lot of that there. Let's get into this and take a proper look. I did actually buy a printed Edison shirt in a sale last season, but that was like 30 something quid. Yeah, they just emailed me the next day to say that they didn't have any. They'd run out of stock. And that was the first time where I was like, wait, are we actually getting rid of Edison or something? Like, is this... And then, obviously, it didn't happen. He play, played last season. He's probably going to play this season too. But I was like, how can you not have any stock? Do you mean you don't have any printed? Do you mean you've run out of the shirts? Like, what? Why would you put them on sale if you don't have them? But anyway, so this is the, this is the shirt we're looking at. Nice purple. Uh, the green is actually a lot more kind of prominent than I was expecting on the the stylings, the trims, etc. MC FC GK jersey replica. We got it in large. The badge really pops in that green, actually. That looks really, really good. Again, as I say, the reason why it looks so prominent for me is that, you know, it, it looks bright in person. It's going to look like it looked every time Edison wore that and every time you see it on a picture to you guys. I promise you it's really, really nice. And the the pink trim under the armpits and down the sides is really nice too. Uh, as I say, we didn't get anything on the back, but uh, here's the back view. 
anyway I don't think this is a bad shirt and I love the color purple so it was definitely you know worth picking up for 30 pounds but I do kind of wish that uh, I hadn't bothered now since the uh, since the other shirts I mentioned have been brought down but I do love Edison so you know I'm more than happy to uh, to to have to finally have a city keeper shirt if I ever do play football with the with the lads I do quite often go in goal so it's fair enough really I've always enjoyed being in goal and Quite honestly, you know, again, I would have had the personalization if it didn't uh, didn't make it so expensive at the end of the day. Even even now with the like the reduced home shirt, I've looked at getting the personalization, but by the time you get that, it's like suddenly this isn't a bargain anymore, you know. Anyway, next up, we have this is such, one of the most frivolous purchases I've ever made in my life for a guy who's incredibly tight. We were really swept up in the Manchester City hype at this point. I bought the Manchester City rubber duck. And my first criticism will be that it is not as a, uh, is offensively bright blue, WKD blue, as it was in the picture. It's a very kind of pale blue, actually. Again, the lighting's probably kind of making that look a bit brighter than it is, but yeah, I can guarantee it. It's not that bright. Now, things differ from the picture, but uh, the, the ridiculously aggressively bright blue was kind of the appeal. But yeah, it's just a really stupid purchase, but kind of had to take it you know and i needed to get the the shipping up a bit anyway i needed to get the total of the order up for free shipping anyway so this was six pounds which yeah a bit silly but my brother told me about i think it was like williams or something some f1 team that did a rubber duck that charged some ridiculous amount of money for it that made me feel an awful lot better about it but yeah just a absolutely ridiculous little sort of keepsake thing there we've got the manchester city crest on his breast there and finally, the last thing I got, I thought this was just a cool keyring, but then it's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of practical as well. It's a bottle opener keyring with Manchester City crest on one side and the Champions League logo on the other. And of course the middle spins. I thought that was really cool. It's, it's really, really nice. So there's a, there's a closer look at the Man City side and a closer look at the Champions League side. Of course, this is a bottle opener. I don't know if I'd ever want to use it for that though. I don't know if I'd want it to, to, to scratch it up like that. But yeah, again, really, really cool. Obviously, great little memento of us winning the treble, etc. Yeah, that is absolutely everything for this video. And I'm not going to lie, I'm on my main channel, it can take me a while to do mail opening videos like this. This has taken me like a month, like a straight month to do this unboxing. I guess I really wanted to feel the city hype to, to be doing this. And I guess that didn't really come through you know we we started the season now the game against Chelsea was kind of boring to be honest with you I mean I'll take a win I'm very happy for a 2-0 win against Chelsea after last season but you know it's uh it, it didn't exactly like it didn't exactly make me think right I need to jump out of bed and uh do this mail opening video right now but if you enjoyed this video please do like comment and subscribe and check out the end screen for any other recommended uh Manchester City content I might link my tops team set pack opening video or anything else that uh, might exist if you're watching this long into the future. I'm also probably going to do another video on the Manchester City stuff I got for my birthday just now. In between when this, this stuff arrived and now because I've had the most Manchester City focused birthday of my life we got the uh, the 99 cup final retro shirt finally been meaning to get that for years might do a review on that we'll see what happens we also got this nice little kind of retro shirt you know, it's kind of like like really vintage like 1800s kind of like uh like artwork and stuff on it and it's all like yeah, it's like city heritage all kind of stuff that's really cool my girlfriend got me that that was really cool and my dad got me a scarf from sports direct but uh, it's actually not the one i wanted it's actually the modern it's the one with the modern crest I actually wanted the old crest with the bird on it. That's when I started supporting City. That's the that's where the nostalgia comes from for me. I don't mind this badge, but I prefer the old one, you know, at the end of the day. And, you know, I kind of specifically put that on the list, like get the old crest. And obviously I'm not mad about a gift, but seriously, every time I have a birthday or Christmas, there's something slightly wrong. Like you get headphones instead of earphones or something to that, you know, something like that. There's just a slight miscommunication with something. You end up getting a gift. That's like, damn, this is almost what I wanted. But yeah, it's a, it's a really cool scarf. But all that kind of stuff, I might do a video on that. I'll probably do a video on the, the FA Cup uh, shirt. You know, you never know. Maybe we'll do 
some more city stuff in the future i really enjoyed doing the team set opening so that's something that i'll be looking forward to doing in the future but uh, other than that if you enjoyed watching please do like comment and subscribe and i really do appreciate you guys joining me thank you all for watching and goodbye and you know what guys i did think about this part i did think like what can i tack this onto one trading card no other cards coming in at the moment like what can i actually tack this mail opening onto hey what about a mail opening of a bundle of Man City stuff that you also have coming? That might be a good idea. So here we are. This is uh, me scratching the Man City auto card itch once again after the Man City team set opening that I did before, which will be available in the end screen. Oh, I don't like that. I do like that this is a, a bubbled envelope, but I, I don't like the sight of that. Like literally right in the corner of the slid right in the corner of the package and that's this there's no top loader there or anything that's not so good just gonna try and slide that out now yeah uh scratching the auto itch again after my man city team set video which will be in the end screen and that video's done really well you know that's done, it's really really cool so it's it's great how well that video's done oh oh all oh, right okay all right i'll let it off okay it's other stuff that's in the that's loose and it is in a top loader all right so let's go through this team set stuff again so we got ruben diaz interesting why is this locked I interesting uh role he played in my team set opening we got uh mateo kovacic and uh we got rodri and we got uh Johnstones. i'm actually going to take these sleeves for something else put those in my in the pile for my next magic opening or something. Yeah, I'm not sure we got Stonesy last time in his base card. I think we got the rest of them, but I'm not sure about Stones. But anyway, the thing that we bought this for is this autographed. Sean Ray Phillips Blue Moon autograph card from the Tops 2023-24 Manchester City team set. The signing of all autographs is witnessed by a Tops representative to guaranteed authenticity, and it looks like this. Look at this. 77 out of 99. That's pretty satisfying to look at. Beautiful pink background on the Blue Moon cards, on the Blue Moon hollow foil. And there we've got the Sean Wright Phillips autograph there. Absolutely lovely. This probably won't be the last classic player's auto that I pick up, but it's certainly the first. And if you'd like to see what auto I got in the Manchester City team set box, well, you just have to watch that, won't you? But... If you enjoyed this video, please do check out the, uh, I guess, check out the team set video in the end screen. I don't really have a playlist for you guys yet, I'm afraid. Not really enough football or football card content for stuff like that yet. But uh, I do have other stuff. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you thought. And I really do appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.